out here this morning in the Win Dixie kitchen, getting ready to cook up some yummy, yummy redfish actually with Chef JD Crowder from Bonefish Grill. You know, this may be something that you could make for Father's Day for your dad, or it's you could just quick. let it be easy and have you make it for us, right? Come to Bonefish, it's Jack's Peach. We'll take go. care of all the work for you. All right, so so there's a it's a it's kind of a Creole style. Uh, yes, and these gonna, are some of the ingredients to make that yummy sauce that you're going to put on. It is. It's a New Orleans style dish. Uh, the redfish is a New Orleans fish. Uh, and the Creole sauce is definitely a New Orleans style sauce. I don't have time to make okay. a Creole sauce, but we're going to get some sizzle going on here. Okay. Um, with some celery, some olive oil. Now we need to let this saute down until it's tender. Um, don't have time for that, so we're just going to start throwing ingredients in here. We got some minced garlic, um, some diced tomatoes, mm -hmm. some blackening spice. Some sugar. Sugar, really? Yeah, a little sweet, little spice. I love Gosh, it, all together. I love it. Now we would let this cook down and then simmer um, for probably about two or four minutes, two to four minutes. And we're gonna add the next round of ingredients. Um, How early Creole. can you make this ahead of time? Uh, you, you can actually make up? it and keep it for two days. Oh, great, perfect. So uh, it, it's pretty good, it's, uh, it's pretty self-sustained. And it's um, probably for two days is kind of better because it lets the, the yeah, spices Yeah, once those kind spices go together. in, it, yeah, yeah, it sure. does. It'll change the flavor over the, over a couple days. Uh, we're gonna add some hot sauce because you have to have some spice in our Creole dish. Some sliced green onions, a little parsley. And this fantastic sauce will cook down over some time and then we will have with the magic of TV, voila. Oh, oh man, I <laughs> love, love the TV. TV. It is so awesome. Now, tell me a little bit about redfish. Is that is that something that you can easily buy at the local it can, fish it store? Can. I yeah, you can go. At mine. Yeah, yeah, you should be able to find it. Okay. If not, you can use any mild fish. This has a, a mild, kind of a sweet flavor because of its okay. diet, um, and it is like a medium density. So, um, as you can see, I've already I've had some raw uh, raw redfish here. This is what uh, it looks like at the fish it store. Uh, okay. And then I seasoned the fish. I've already uh, started cooking this fish. Um, and then, of course, I've got some finished products as well. That Creole sauce actually uh, went down pretty quickly. Um, and can I ask you, you said you seasoned the fish. It looks like pepper. What else did you put on there? I did. I used a little bit. Uh, I used a house spice um, okay. that you could pick up at Winn-Dixie or any local supermarket. Uh, season your fish. Um, I like to use a little bit of blackening seasoning on the fish as well. It's in our Creole sauce, but I like to add it to the fish as well. Um, again, the Creole style, we want to have a little spice to it. Um, Perfect. And, and we'll, then how long do you, I mean, do you spice it right before you put it on or do, do. you let it sit on it? I don't marinate it at all. I okay. just season the fish and then put it right on the grill with some olive oil just so it doesn't stick to the grill. And that's all you need. And how long do you cook it? Uh, two minutes each side if it's about that that thick. It's mm -hmm. uh, redfish normally isn't a super thick fish, so you'll have uh, plenty of time to get it cooked. And close the lid to the grill? Uh, yeah, if, yes, yeah. if you're cooking outside. Yeah. I didn't close the, the lid on the grill to this, yeah, say, so you yeah. wouldn't have to. Right. Or if you're going inside, you could finish in the oven. Mm -hmm. Again, it's a pretty thin fish, so you don't have to uh, cook it for a long time. Really, two to four minutes on each side. Uh, at about the same time you would cook the yeah. crawfish that goes into the Creole so it sauce. Takes, it doesn't take very long at all. Yeah. Your favorite vegetables you can add as well? Absolutely. I grilled some asparagus. I like my asparagus grilled. I have some uh, French green beans and some broccoli. Mm. Um, I've already plated a dish up for you. Um, and we can actually probably go ahead and uh, ah. make another because our fish is done. And then uh, while you're doing that, let's you've got a specialty cocktail that you're offering as, as well. It has a little champagne. Let's get a little asparagus yeah. in here, some broccoli, and we'll put some Creole sauce right on top. Gosh, Sorry, I'm making you work here. No, that's great. Here we are. Fantastic. All right, Freddie's going to try that. And just real quick, if you can tell me what's in the, uh, it's, it's a blue. A sparkling blue, blue Hawaiian blue. cocktail. Okay. It's not only fantastic, but it's beautiful as well. Uh, you can use any of your favorite rum. I use Cruzan guava rum. About an ounce and a half of that. Have some blue carousel, which is a uh, orange flavored liqueur, but it sure is bright and beautiful. This is uh, Coco Real, which is just a cream of coconut. Just a touch of that to give it a little coconut. And we can't add our Prosecco yet because if I do, or champagne in this case, if I do, it will go everywhere. All right. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> I'm a professional. Here, right. <laughs> We're going to serve this in a brandy snifter. And top it off with the Definitely going to need some more Nico. ice. A little pineapple juice. All right, we're going to enjoy that and as of break, course, Chef. A little Thank you so much for being here. Do appreciate it. Remember, you can check this out by going to Bonefish Grill this weekend. We'll be right back.